Hey now, what's up guys? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I am here to review Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. As you can see, this is a double feature, but I am talking about the very first Harry Potter movie, which is a 2001 movie, directed by Chris Columbus. It is based on the novel written by J.K. Rowling and Harry Potter. The plot is you see at the very beginning, uh, him as a baby, his parents were murdered, so he is brought to his aunt and uncle's house to be raised until he's ready to be who he's destined to be. When you see him being raised by his aunt and uncle, holy hell, <laughs> at least Peter Parker had loving aunt and uncle, but not Harry Potter. Those guys are assholes. <laughs> But finally, he gets recruited to go to Hogwarts and to finally be trained and go to wizard school. And while he's there, he notices that there's somebody among the teachers who isn't to be trusted and wants to steal the Sorcerer's Stone for his own use. Now, what I think of the first Harry Potter movie, before I get into that, I should talk about the fact that I've never watched a Harry Potter movie before. Or at least I say that and some people might be surprised, some other people might not be surprised. That is a lie though. When this movie first came out, I did see it as a kid. At the time, I might have been 11, 12 years old, I don't know. But I did see the very first movie, this one, as a kid, I just, I barely remembered it. In fact, re-watching it right now, there's only like three scenes that I remember or that ring a bell, but for the most part, I didn't remember it. So it was like watching this one for the first time. The rest of the movies I haven't seen at all, so that will be interesting. But this first film, I enjoyed. I did. And I'm a little surprised, I guess, maybe... Mostly because when these movies were coming out and it was the big hit year after year and everybody couldn't help but talk about the new Harry Potter movie, I guess I was just trying to stand out and say, no, I'm not going to watch the Harry Potter movies. I'm going to be the one guy who's not watching it. Although I, I realize now how close-minded that sounds. So after all these years later, I bought all the movies on Blu-ray and I decided to binge watch it and finally give it a chance, the chance that I think it deserves. And so far, first movie in, I'm glad that I'm giving it a chance. I did like the movie. I liked uh, Harry Potter's backstory, seeing what happened to his parents. I mean, what, what good main character doesn't have a tragic backstory like this? So you instantly uh, feel for him. When you see that he was brought to his aunt and uncle's house, I get that they were his family, so I get that it made sense in a way for them to take care of him. But for them to think that he was better off with these two, my god, they keep him almost locked up underneath the stairs. I mean, it's kind of a cool room in a way, but when the, the, the other kid is like jumping on the stairs being a dick and just the uncle especially, I'm like, wow! That's when we get introduced to Robbie Coltrane, who plays Hagrid. He comes in to recruit Harry Potter or to get him away from this hell of a house, and he brings him to this kind of a, a magical, uh, I don't want to say land, but it's a school. It's a school for kids who are learning to be wizards, and that was interesting. You see a lot of, of, of characters, different characters, creatures, a lot of magical, mystical things going on. This is very much, tonally, this is very much a kid's movie, or at least probably more of a kid's movie than from what I hear the rest of the movies are. But still, I was able to get into it. They were likable characters, the main characters, Harry Potter, of course. We meet Rupert Grint, who plays Ron Weasley, and he was just a likable kid. You can tell that he's going to end up being Harry Potter's best friend. Emma Watson as Hermione Granger. I liked her mostly because, sure, she might act like a know-it-all or, or, you know, she knows magic better than everybody, but she doesn't really have friends, at least at the beginning, 
And one scene where Ron was making fun of her for this, and she was very upset. She felt like a loner, and nobody else really liked her. That's what I felt for her. I was like, oh, well, that, that sucks, you know? And, and it wasn't until Ron and, and Harry Potter come in to save her from this giant creature, and they all become like the three musketeers. They become that group of friends. Tom Felton as Draco, this kid is so annoying. I know that he stays in it throughout the series, but just in this first movie, of course you have to have the bully. When you have the, uh, a movie with young kids or high school kids, there's always that one a-hole. And Tom Felton is definitely that kid. Speaking of unlikable characters, Alan Rickman as this character, Snap. He is essentially the villain. I mean, he's almost obviously the villain in a way where you see how menacing he looks, how creepy he is, how he's just, he's always in the shadows. You almost wonder how the hell does nobody else besides Harry Potter realize that he's the villain? Or is he? Well, uh, one thing that I want to talk about, obviously I don't want to get too much into spoilers. I can't be the only one who hasn't seen the Harry Potter movies, right? Right? John Williams' score, I loved. I loved. I mean, in general, I love John Williams' scores. He always brings something to the table that's memorable, and, and, and you can't help but love it. But this one, I thought, first time, first viewing, in a sense, it, it struck me. My only complaint, really, and it's not that it was over two hours long. I actually didn't mind the length. It, it didn't bore me or anything. But the CGI. Now I know that this movie is 2001. I'm not going to really hold too much against it for the CGI. Because for the most part, like with the creatures and, and the giant monsters or the magical stuff, I thought that looked fine. No problem with that at all, really. But it was the scenes where they were flying on their brooms doing a lot of the competitive games. And the, the kids were CGI, like... They're completely CGI. There's there's shots where you can see their faces, and it's obviously CGI, and that looks really bad. Like, you can't do a human CGI. You can't. It looks too fake. It is more of a kid's movie, but the end of it got really dark, and I'm very interested to see where it goes now, particular with a certain villain character. But yeah... I'm going to keep going, which is good, because if I bought all of these movies and I didn't like the first one, what a journey, what a ride that would have been. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think of the very first Harry Potter movie? Do you like it as well? Like, comment, subscribe. Later.